Hello there. I am just booting back up after installing AVG Internet Security 9. AVG Internet Security 9 Beta. Beta 2, to be exact. It's quite a download. It's 115 megabytes. And... Or 105 or something, but it's kind of nuts. Um, but I can't complain too much about that. So, I already installed this because I didn't feel like it was worth uh, going through the installation process. It was pretty classic AVG. Um, so, that's all right. So I'll give it a name. Um, so it's a pretty easy firewall configuration. And I'll assign it a profile. So this is their new interface for AVG9. Hang on. So, there are a couple features. AVG Optimization Scan. So it scans what it needs, it finds what it needs to scan and what it doesn't need to scan. Kind of like Norton Insight, and it separates them into groups. So, this will speed it up because it won't have to scan certain files. Now, I have 14 links. I forgot to weed out the ones that weren't good. But... So, it's pretty easy to tell. It detects viruses, worms, and other executables. It tells you when it was updated. I've already updated it. And just in this one, it has a beta tab, so you can edit certain things. So, let's take a look. It has an antivirus. Whoops, that took forever to come up. So, 105 megabytes. So, it's an antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-spam, firewall, link scanner, anti-rootkit, system tools. So, shows information about processes, network connections, automatically starting applications. Um, email scanner, identity protection, license, web shield, and resident shield. So... So it's showing the optimization scan. Because I don't care, I'm going to stop this. Because I kind of know what I am doing and I don't need to go over that. So if we look at the components, take a look. I'm not seeing any settings. Okay, advanced settings, here we go. Wow, so it's kind of a big menu. But this is good. Ignore faulty components conditions. So error or warning status of one of the selected opponents will be ignored. Um, virus fault. So you can limit the size. Pup exceptions, no. I'll leave that alone. Advanced settings, this is fine. Scan all files. I might do that. To do excludes. Anti root kit. I'll leave that alone too. So, not much I need to change here. Everything seems all set. So, I'm going to fire away with the malware here. I do not have 
all the time in the world for this video. So I will have to continue in two parts, unfortunately. So it says a new firewall rule is created. So if we punch this in, So an access is denied. Okay, threat detected. I'm going to remove the threat as power user because that removes it as admin. Administrator. So therefore it will remove it more powerfully. That one didn't work there. So if we go through this, Okay, malware detected. It's unknown, it's an unknown malware. So, I'm going to quarantine it again. It's removing the malware, and it's finding the related components. So that was successful. Now you can watch my Bitdefender video, Bitdefender to Internet Security 2010. This is the same links. So you can take a look and compare the two to see which one did better. So it's finding, it's heuristics are doing really well right now. Um, the heuristics are finding everything. Well, almost. So it killed the Internet Explorer, probably to make the removal easier for itself. That's my feeling. Malware removal requires a computer restart. So it clearly doesn't have the best removal abilities as far as I can tell because it got stuck on a file it couldn't completely quarantine it and it let it into the system enough so that it has trouble removing it so what I'm gonna do it's non-responding what I'm going to do is I'm going to let AVG restart the computer here. If it can become responding. So, I'm going to work this out. And I'll be right back. So... I just reset the virtual machine. I'm going to let it reboot because I am realizing that it kind of locked up. And I'm going to let it reboot, but we're going to continue in part two of this video series. So, AVG Internet Security 9, part two. So. We'll pick it up in the next one.